Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 3 Tonight I'm here bringing you another Lego preview and my thoughts video, and this is requested by The Brick of Steel, so please go check out his channel and subscribe to him. Thank you for requesting preview and my thoughts of the new Lego Castle sets. Basically, um, I don't know, would you guys classify this as a new theme? Because Castle was an old theme, now they're bringing it back. But is it still the same thing, you know? Is, what do you guys think? Um, it's still kind of the same thing. So it's kind of the only newish theme coming out this summer, unless you count Lone Ranger or Man of Steel or that kind of thing. So get excited for these Lego Castle sets. Here are my thoughts. First set here is the Forest Ambush. I think this set looks pretty cool. For one thing, basically, the minifigures. It's basically a Lego Castle battle pack, which is freaking awesome. I mean, look at the stuff you get in the set. You get some trees and some random other things. Um, those things don't really look that great, but you get two of the blue good lion knights and two of the bad dragon knights. So basically, it's a battle pack, which is awesome. I'm really happy they're making this set. It will cost $11.99. It has 90 pieces, so not a great price for a piece, but it's so cheap anyways. Everyone's probably going to get this set pretty much. It's a great set. I'm sure people are going to buy lots of these. It's going to be a really great way for you guys to build an army of these new castle minifigures. Alright, so the next set here is the Gold Getaway, and this set will retail for about $20. It has 199 pieces, so we are looking at a perfect price per piece. And, I'm not going to lie, this isn't my favorite set ever. It looks decent for $20. I feel like the build in this set, especially the little carriage thing, isn't that big and you know when i when i buy a set out 20 dollar set i want a pretty big build it looks like you get a bunch of kind of smaller pieces but you do get some great minifigures and it's the cheapest way to get the new horse's helmet which is really cool you get some really cool gold pieces it looks like which is really nice little miniature castle build is really cool little um ballista kind of thing little carriage is decent I feel like it might not be the best 20 dollar set that we could have gotten from this castle line but it is still pretty cool looking our next set here is the Gatehouse Raid, which will cost 30 US dollars, and I actually really think this looks like a really great set. It's kind of the cheaper, poorer man's version of the Giant Castle set, and it looks like you'll also be able to connect this to the castle, hopefully, which will be really cool. You get some great minifigures, and it's the cheapest way you can get, like, an Evil Knight dude, or actually, it might be the only way you can get Evil Knight, and I can't remember if that's in the big castle or not. I'll have to check. Later on in this video, I'll tell you guys the answer to that. Sorry about that. But it's a really cool looking set. The price, eh, it's $5 over price. It's got 248 pieces for $30. So not a perfect price per piece. It's around 12 cents a piece. I think it should have been 25 but I think it's a good way to get some great minifigures. Kind of like a little bit bigger bat battle pack. It's a cool looking miniature castle. Um, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this set up. Next up here is the $50 Dragon Mountain, which contains 376 pieces, so I'm not loving the price, but I do like this set a lot. I really hope I can get this set. First off, that dragon. It is pretty much the exact same dragon, just a little bit of a recolor from the ones we got from the old castle set, but it's still a really cool looking dragon. The actual Dragon Mountain Fortress piece, I mean, it's not that big, but it looks pretty good. It's pretty decent for like a smaller castle. You get a pretty nice looking catapult, and you get some fantastic minifigures. This is probably some of the better minifigures. You're going to get from a set in this line. You get the princess, of course, which I think is using the Lego Friends hair piece, which is a nice use of those hair pieces, by the way. I think it's the first time we're seeing one of those hair pieces not in a friend set. You also get the evil wizard guy and a knight and some other figures. So it looks like a really cool set. I hope to get this one. I think it's overpriced, but it has some really cool pieces and a great dragon. So I actually do like this set quite a lot. Here is the big daddy of them all, the King's Castle, which has 996 pieces and retails for $100, so we are talking a perfect price for piece. And this set actually looks really cool. I mean, it is another castle. I had one of the castles beforehand, the one from the original castle line. That was a really great castle. The Kingdoms one, this looks a lot more like the Kingdoms one. Actually, the front of this looks pretty much exactly like the Kingdoms one, which kind of sucks. But it looks like it has some cool designs. I really like the use of those kind of like... Um, octagonal pieces. I really think those are great pieces. You get some really cool minifigures in here. I think you could have gotten more minifigures, but it looks like you have a lot of accessories. You have a pretty nice little catapult thing and a really cool knight. And of course, the king, of course, is going to be exclusive to the set. So I think it's a really cool looking castle. It's a great design. Um, definitely a cool castle. Will I be getting it? Probably not, because I mean, even though I do want it, it's a hundred bucks, okay? And I think there's other better sets I might spend my hundred dollars on. Besides this, but I still think it's a really cool looking castle. So what do you guys think about this new castle line? I, I like it a lot. I think there could have been more sets. And they also are, all of them are pretty much kind of remakes 
of old sets in a way. I'm not completely, but a lot of them are, so that's a little bit disappointing. But I think it's a good line in general, and I'll definitely pick some of these up. I think they're actually starting to come out in stores right around now. I think some people have actually found them, so which is pretty crazy. Hopefully I can find them soon and review them for you guys. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Go check out The Brick of Steel. Go like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye.